Over the years, we've given a stack of Forbies the full ARB treatment. Some were just for looks, while others were modified purely for tackling the most unforgiving country in the state. While this brand new Ranger might look a bit stock at the moment, we're going to turn it into a long range Ranger and we're going to give it a facelift. So it'll have the looks, but more than that, it's going to be the ultimate home away from home. This is the pride and joy of Glenn Sweeney from ARB and Burley Heads, and he wants to take it up to Cape York with all the necessities and creature comforts on board. Well, mate, we'll have to get rid of these shocks. Yes, we'll, uh, we'll set up an old, old man emu set of shocks on this and suspension, Rog. Uh, you know, makes it a lot better ride quality. People don't realise, but um, hold of the load, ride quality, comfort, you know, better off roadability. You literally can't do a big trip in this country unless you carry extra fuel. And rather than jerry cans, the best place for fuel is in a tank under the car. How much does this one hold, mate? Uh, Rog, this one's 150 litres. More than double. More than double, yeah. Oh, around double, They're about 60 litres more than the standard tank, so yeah. it'll give you good range. To help it look the part, a new set of wheels, IPF's latest HID spotties, and a bull bar complete with a 9.5 XP winch for self-recovery. While all this certainly looks good, the most important thing is the protection it offers, especially with Warren's latest remote control winch. If you're stuck, you don't need to depend on someone else for a hand. Your remote control will get you out of trouble. A colour-coded canopy will ensure our gear is safe from dust, rain and all the rest along the road to the Cape. Besides the protection for all your gear with a rack on top, you can double your capacity. And then you get a choice whether you want to sleep upstairs or downstairs. The beauty of the canopy is the opportunity to throw in some outback drawers, so there's plenty of storage and bench space, as well as a place to keep your supplies. Just so I don't forget for later. To run little luxuries like a fridge, you'll need a dual battery system, so it doesn't drain the main battery. You can opt to install one yourself, but with the electronic complexity in some of the latest four-wheel drives, it really pays to have a professional do the job for you. With a little bit of time, money and ARB know-how, you can take your basic town car like this and turn it into a fully equipped machine like this that can take you just about anywhere, including Cape York. If you're looking to modify your Forby, visit your nearest ARB store or jump online for a full list of their products. Make sure you tune in next week as we hit the road to Cape York in a special episode. We'll see if everything we've done to this little ute will help it keep up with the big boys because we're going to tackle some of Queensland's toughest terrain in our search for gold. <laughs>